Hi, I'm Dave Millett from Equinox. We all spend a lot of time acquiring customers for our businesses, but then a lot of us also go out of our way to annoy them before they can even get through to us. So some of the things to watch out for with your customer contacts. Firstly, how easy is it for them to get through to you? Do you actually have a phone number on your website they can find? A lot of people don't, and there's nothing more annoying. I want to speak to someone, and I can't actually find the number. And then what number are you actually using? Uh, Ofcom have made some changes recently to the law about what numbers can be used depending on the type of clients you have. But also avoid using the numbers that cost a lot to phone. Nothing says you value a customer less than making them pay excessive amounts for them to call you in the first place. And then, okay, so they've called you, what happens now? Have you caught them in the press one, press two, press three hell? Um, or are you actually gonna route them through directly? If you've got four levels of people with five options, you're actually creating something like 600 options potentially for a customer to go through. Isn't it easier or nicer if they can just get through to someone and say, I'd like to talk to someone about? Monitoring those levels of calls, how many people are waiting, how many people are abandoning calls is equally important. And think about what does it say if you've got a comfort message, your call is important to us, but we can't speak to you at the moment. What it's really saying is you can't be bothered to put enough people on the end of the phone to answer their calls. So do think about how your customer contact strategy affects what your customers think of you. It is very important. If you spend a lot of money acquiring them, don't throw them away.